Another one of the techniques that's very popular on a fretless and will do a lot to increase your ability to express, to be expressive, to play expressively, is vibrato, which you've heard me use in the other lessons. Um, but I'll, I'll explain it a little bit here. Vibrato is, well, I'm not going to get into the technical definition, which is explaining the difference in tone variation versus volume variation, but the, the basic way to play vibrato is to take a note and give it just a little bit of motion. And you hear how the, the sound changes a little bit. Now the cool thing about vibrato is that it's almost infinite the amount that you you use in terms of the, the vibration, the, the way you're playing the string, the way you're using this hand to manipulate the note. You can use a very slow vibrato to get a very emotional effect. You can do something a little faster to give you a more dramatic effect. to save yourself if you play a note that's not exactly right. So if you go... Vibrato will cover the fact that you didn't nail that note. So you can... Not a great save, but at least you're going to end up in tune. So... fretless bass, a lot of players, most players at some point that use the instrument, find that they're using vibrato um, constantly, which is cool, it's a lot of fun, but don't let it get in the way of the music. The music should be first. Um, and playing a simple note strongly and in tune is always going to be valuable. That's a very cool effect, but you don't want to use it all the time. Sounds very different than So, basics of vibrato. Don't overuse it. Don't use it completely to compensate for the fact that you're not playing in tune. Um, and try to use it occasionally rather than constantly. Thanks.